Hello, Icron fans! This is Shadow333 bringing you a match between Sickles and Chitin. Sickles is playing something we don't know yet. He hasn't decided yet in the bottom left corner. And Chitin is playing Grekham in the top right corner. And apparently the Oz monitor is a bit hard to see, so this is going to be a bit of a pain. Anyway. So, Sickles is... Oh, Sickles is going back here, actually. So, double check, go back slightly in the past. Make sure we see him, and yes, he is playing Vekir. While... And here is so Kitan playing Grekum. Kitan's moving his Arcticus up forward, make sure that he's going to be able to block off any incoming attacks. While Sickles is just building up his economy very early on. Kitan has not yet built his economy yet. He is... This is fairly far into the past. Both of them have moved forward, actually. In fact, Sickles is going to take the initiative quite well right now. He is back when he is. Let's see. He is... Oh, for goodness sakes. Yeah, yeah, I think I can think actually get this... Ah, okay, that's the most I can get. Okay, so we can, we can now see sort of the resources for Sickles. And we can see the... Okay, here we are. So, Sickles has built up his economy a bit further. He has... He's actually getting a lot of... He's getting early tech, getting three QPRPs, getting six LCRPs, getting early depot. While, let's see, Titan is... Going more for early LC, he is continuing to build... He's got two early Octos coming in, so Titan has been doing this all tournament. He's building two early Octos to come in and just rush out or rush out Sickles to, just to make sure that Sickles isn't doing anything too fishy. Just to keep Sickles on his toes. This is very typical for him. Both players are using up the resources fairly well right now. They have... Though, right now, it looks like Sickles is actually... Yeah, both of them are running a bit high. There's 80-40 for Titan, 25-30 for Sickles. Sickles is using up his resources... Kitan needs to start using his resources a bit more, but he is. He's building more RPs, so that should work pretty well. Both of them hanging out in the future, so I'm just going to fast forward to catch up with them. And here we have a reef coming in for Kitan. His octos are about halfway across the map now. So the rush is going to be hitting... Well, Sigil probably already sees the rush from his point of view. While... Let's see, the Zion is coming out. Looks like he might be coming out to meet them. Sigil's did go back slightly in the past to try to edit his actions, so... Lord, so it looks like, yes, he is building up more economy, and he is then heading out to fight off the Otters. I don't know really if he's going to be trying to fight off the Otters or not. From his time, it looks like this is about a minute and a half up from here. He actually did manage to get two Shin Veers in here, and did he get through? He must have gotten, this must have not been through the Octos, because, oh, actually, no, he did. He, you know, jumping back about a minute, it actually turns out that he managed to sneak the Shin Veers past the Octos, and the Octos are handling the design very now, while Sickles is actually getting quite a few... Wow, he's getting a lot of Zion Pulsers. He actually told me in the RC channel, or told everyone in the RC channel, you can get seven Zion Pulsers by the four minute 30 mark. So he has a minute left to get one more Zion Pulser, actually. He has two coming in. Yeah, here we are. So there's the seven. So he's going to have five Zion Pulsers coming in. He's going to get skip on all of them, I'm sure. And he has almost enough resources. He's going to need, let's see, skip is 25 and 10. So he's going to need about 175 and 70. So he should have that very shortly. In fact, right now he should. So he's probably going to upgrade skip right now. Though it's hard to tell. It looks like he hasn't upgraded it yet. He doesn't seem to be upgrading on all of his units, but he's upgrading on most of his units. He didn't have the money for all of his units right then. Jumping back, though, just to double check. Yes, he is! Okay, so double checking further back, behind where Sickles is, he is in fact jumping forward. Or sorry, not jumping forward. He is in fact getting skip teleport so he can skip forward into Titan's base. Titan, on the other hand, about two minutes back from here, is... You see, he's from his point of view, he's still fighting off this attack here. He's actually jumped back further just to make sure that he has perfect information on the attack. It looks like he's still going for the Zion Veer. He hasn't actually changed that around a lot from what I can see. It's hard to tell, though. He is actually going at present speed. So I'm just going to slow down and make sure I don't pass him by. I keep getting the timeline discontinuity. So it looks like he isn't actually controlling the Octos to get around here. He isn't... The Shin Veers are retreating, but he isn't building much more than just a few domes. Well, on the other hand, Sickles, very near the present, and at the present now, is actually, once again, he still has all the Zion, Veer, or Zion Pulsers coming up. Sickles seems to be just jumping around to make sure that he can... He isn't really doing too much. Their chrono energy isn't being used heavily. Also, I should probably point out that we have advanced structures for Chitin right now. So, and this has actually been upgraded for... Well, it would have been upgraded for some time, because the domes do require advanced structures to be built. 
So here you see Yasha's coming in, actually managed to get past the Zion Beer, but getting destroyed by Zion Pulsers. So right now, Sik Kitan has, is fully aware, if he wasn't before, about the existence of incoming Zion Pulsers. He's also sent his Octos now to destroy the Shin Beers that were coming in before, so the Shin Beers will not be able to get in. However, looks like from Sickle's point of view, further in the future, his Zion Beers did manage to get in, actually, rather, it looks like, did he, yes he did, he rather cleverly used the Nook right around here, this expansion over here, and this Nook down here and managed to get his Zion, Beer, or Zion Pulses in quite effectively. So, now, getting past these defenses, Titan will, of course, be building some domes right near here to make sure he can take care of the Zion Pulses, but still, that's very effective, very effective approach vector. And it looks like, from Titan's point of view, he has a bunch of domes over round, around his ramp, but he doesn't have any round that place where he got hit actually. So, he's not taking account top yet, but he probably will be. He is actually about 30 seconds down from me right now. Looks like 30 seconds down, he is... He is doing, making some actions, he's moving around his domes, he is moving one dome, so he has two domes at the teleport teleport destination. So, Sickles, Sickles is dealing a lot of damage, let's just see how much damage he would have dealt. So, Kitan, if he doesn't do this, he's going to lose the game, so Sickles would win the game if for the fact that Kitan, or for the fact that Kitan is moving his domes along. So, once Kitan moves his dome along, he should be fine, but if he doesn't move his dome along, and he is moving his dome along, if the dome does not hold off, the two domes which they might, they probably should, but domes are not especially strong against ground units until about, until they the point where you get weaponry. Once you get weaponry, they're fine, but until you get weaponry, they aren't particularly strong. However, if Titan can hold this off, he will be in a pretty good advantage. He doesn't have chrono recording yet. He actually has slowed down, so I'll double check. He doesn't even have chrono recording yet, but he does have a couple of pods coming in as well. These will really help the defender. The domes are somewhat useful, but the pods are awesome, are going to be the best thing he has. The far pods cloaking up, coming in. This is what he needed. The domes, like I said before, I wasn't too sure about, but the far pods are definitely going to be the way to go for this one. So the far pods coming in cloaked. Do see that they see the Zion pulsers coming in? However, they're a bit further away. The Zion pulsers will be teleporting up from there. They have managed to get rid of most, or one of the Zion pulsers, but most of the Zion pulsers still got into the base. They're going to be able to take care of the dome very quickly. That's five Zion pulsers left. Another Zion. Okay, so two Zion beers, five Zion pulsers. One of the Zion beers has been killed though, so. And the other Zion Beer won't last very long. Okay, now it's only three Zion Pulsers left, so... Well, okay, Titan has managed to hold this off pretty well. The remaining three Zion Pulsers will be complete, will be dog food for the Pharopods, so there isn't really much left to say. Sickles has to start taking care of this... Well, taking care of advancing his tech for the has Foundation. He's probably going to be getting an aerial control center on that, and it looks like he's just building right now. And in the f further in the future where Sickles actually is looking... Sickles isn't really actually doing too much. Looking at his current energy, he hasn't used it up that much. He appears to be building up somewhere in infantry, but his attack has been completely thwarted. Titan, very well done, thwarting that attack. Now three Farbots coming in. No Chrono Porting, mind you, but three Farbots are coming in. Titan is sending in his Farbots. He is actually also looking further back in the past. He was actually acting a fair bit in the past, too, so it's hard to tell what exactly he did. Looks like he's just building more Farbots and... Looks, oh wow, nice enough. So Sickles has actually changed around his tactic entirely. He's moving his Zion Beers to the main ramp, or teleporting them to the main ramp, and then attacking. The Farpods are still coming around. This probably won't help too much, though, because the Farpods are very mobile. They are air units, after all. So Titan probably doesn't have much to worry about, provided he doesn't go out for the attack too soon. If he does, he'll have to send his Farpods back, and by that point... No, never mind. Okay, Titan is completely aware of the incoming Zion Pulsers, so those Zion Pulsers really have no chance right now. The domes are... Making short, making short work of them with their beams, and the Farpods are making short work of them with the fact that they're bloody bombers that are cloaked and Zion Pulses can't hit air. So, right now, Kitan is doing very well for himself. Sickles is appears to be trying to build up possibly an aerial control center. He hasn't actually developed this foundation yet. I'm assuming it's going to be an aerial control center. He's going very far back in the past. He's set up... He used up... He's ordering a couple things in the past, but there really is much he can do. He's out of chrono energy... And Kitan, at the same time, has most of his chrono energy down. He has about only five orders remaining, while Sickles is using his last remaining orders to send design pulsers right behind. He can't deal, he can't kill the base, obviously, but he will try to harass what he can, just take out what RPs he can, or at least damage them as best he can. Kitan can't really do too much, he doesn't have a whole lot of chrono energy. He has a bit of chrono energy, but this is very far into the unplayable past. So Sickles is trying to do what he can. Kitan is coming back to defend with Sparpods, but he has lost one RP, and he's lost two RPs! That's two RPs, so he has... Wow, that's a... Yes, is that going to be three RPs? No, it's not three RPs. So, wow. Okay, so Kitan lost two of his resource processors, and Sickles did a very good job attacking, and at the same time, Sickles actually has been expanding quite a bit to his natural, while Kitan has been attacking, or has been defending. Kitan is going for a counterattack right now, and I'm not sure how much... 
I mean, right now Sickles does have a lot of resources, but he hasn't got a lot of chrono energy left. He has one one order remaining. Actually, not anymore now. So he's using up all of his orders to build some Shin Turtles to try to fight off these Farpaws. He has no aerial control center anymore. Titan further back in the past. However, just going to double check what he's doing exactly. Looks like Titan is... Actually, Titan appears to be paused right now. Or slow-mo. Yeah, Titan appears to be in slow motion right now. He is... From the looks of it... Yes, he has found the expansion. He has found the expansion, and that's... So, still, though, I mean, he has found the expansion, but this isn't going to completely undermine Sh Sickles. Sickles did have the expansion up for quite some time, while... I mean, and some people pointing in the RC channel, it's two LC RPs. Yes, but LC... Okay, I suppose it is far pods. So, for far pods, it's not that important. For Seppi pods, if Titan wants to counter these Shin Turtles coming in, it's going to be a bit harder. He's going to probably have one or two fewer Seppi pods, and that'll probably be like, from a group of three or four. So, it won't be quite as easy to counter, though, given that Shin Turtles are very specialized anti ground units, it probably won't be a big deal. However, Shin Turtles are coming in, and of course, they can see the far pods, so they're going to be t making short work of these far pods. At least one of, them, one of the Shin Turtles is being forced to retreat, though. Farpods are going to attack very heavily. However, Kitan is further back in the past to actually micro this. And it looks like Kitan has actually changed the tactic entirely. Instead, he's attacking the base directly. This may not be the... No, this is actually the best idea, because auto defense has not been researched for Sickles. The Shin Turtles are doing what they can. However, they are outnumbering the Farpods. The Farpods will... Or this Farpod will be destroyed. The other Farpod is damaging the expansion. But, at the same time, a bunch of far Faros are coming in as well. And more Farpods. So... Titan is doing a lot to try to just push this attack right now. And unfortunately for Sickles, he spent a lot of his money on RPs, and his QP RPs are dead. He doesn't he doesn't have a fair amount of QP in his base, but it's not enough to get high rate of income. He does have a lot of Tepulters and Shin Turchers coming in. Hopefully this will help. The Faros are going to be destroyed by the Shin Turchers very handily, though. And the thing with the Faros is that they're good generalist units and good detect and decent detectors. Not great detectors, because Sepipods are much better, much higher health. But they don't need to detect right now. There's no Zion Turtles coming in, and Shin Turtles are anti-ground units. They're going to be completely, they're going to destroy these Faros. But of course, the Faropods are still coming in, dealing a fair amount of damage. And it looks like I'm just going to go back behind this time wave, just double check I'm seeing everything correctly. Looks like okay, actually no, those were Zion pulsers coming in, not Teth pulsers. I surprised I misread the icon. Anyway, those are Zion pulsers coming in, which won't be as useful. Heavy Pod is coming in right now. Looks like Titan at this exact point has enough resources for another Seppi Pod right now, so he could get a Seppi Pod if he wants to. He has no Chrono Energy, he has no CE in the past. He is just, he is exhausting his CE further in the past, trying to make sure he has what he needs to build what he can, but he isn't expanding at all. He has the Seppi Pods, he is pressing an attack, getting more Seppi Pods. He has four Seppi Pods now, and this was about 30 seconds down from where we were, but we are fast forwarding, so it'll be very soon the time we were at. While Sickles has built a lot of Zion Pulsers and a lot of Shin Turchers. Unfortunately, not a lot of Teth Turchers, and the Zion Pulsers, of course, can't hit air. The Sepipods are actually still... They are anti-air units, but they're still quite powerful against air, or against ground. Whereas Zion Pulsers can't hit air. They simply can't. That's just the way they're made. They are designed for complete anti-ground use, and they cannot hit air. Shin Turchers coming in. Shin Turchers will be destroyed very quickly. The Sepipods are just completely obliterating the Shin Turchers. Zion Pulse is trying to sneak in under them. Unfortunately, they did not have any skip teleport upgrades, and Gay Tech has not been upgraded. That would have been a very bad idea as well. But skip teleport has not been upgraded, so the Zion Pulsers cannot just jump past these Seppi Pods right now and harass what they can. However, it won't really matter. What he did right now is to Chronoport if he wanted to undermine at all. And at the same time, it looks like Sigil's LC, or Sigil's LC craze have run out. He's teleporting his RPs over to the third expansion right here, the safe third down here. But it is going to take a little while for him to do that. They have run out of energy. And at the same time, Stegobots are coming in to attack the base. Both players jumping back right now to re-micro the attack. So, right now, Kitan, or a minute down, Kitan is going to be trying to re-micro his attack to get rid of these units even further. The, however, he has pushed forward further. The Zion Pulsers, three of the Zion Pulsers, are managed to successfully get into the base. One Zeppi Pod's going to be there. It's not going to do too much to hold them off. Sickle's just checking for an expansion. He doesn't find an expansion. He's probably going to look around to see if he can find an expansion. No, he's finding to go back home, actually. Yes, his, his Zion Pulsers are all going back home to meet up with the test pulses, which should have been there about five minutes ago, and he is actually about 45 seconds down from where we were looking. His Zion pulses, from his point of view, are being completely destroyed. The Seppi pulses have taken, are taking them out, and they will not be able to make it home, however, they don't really matter against all these air units. The test pulses are what's going to really do it, and, okay, there's no CE right now for Sickles, 
And right now, Titan is just watching what he's doing. He isn't actually ordering anything around. He's just watching it all, seeing it all play out. And Sickles has a lot of QP right now. He doesn't have a lot of LC. And Titan has a fairly even mix of both, but he only have enough for one power pod. The Sebi pods are really what Titan's banking on. And the Ted Pulse are coming in. The Shin Pulse are coming in. Not really what he needs. Ted Pulsers, or possibly Ted Searches, a lot of Ted Pulsers, to be fair, also. That's the only thing Sickles can really do, and he does not have a lot of chrono energy to do it with. If he went back in time right now, he might have a chance to use one or two orders. So that is the game, and Sickles has lost. So, good game, well done, Kitan. So that's game one, so that's one nothing for Kitan. So, we're starting the game now, and just going to get my... Here we are. So now we have the Observer Monitor working properly. So everyone can should be able to see what's going on, and I get this down to uh, too low, too high. Okay, hello, Icron fans. This is Shadow Fury 33 with a match like that between Kitan and Sickles. Oh, sorry, this is Overgrown Citadel. Allstone passes the next game. So right now, Kitan is playing Grekum once again. Sickles is also playing Grekum, so it's a Grekum mirror match this time around. Both players, of course, going for the standard Grekum start, putting the Arcticus in front to block off any incoming units coming in, and. That was... Okay, good. So, Kitan is building up as well. So, Sickles and Kitan are both building up. Kitan is actually a bit behind me right now. Sickles is fast-forwarding towards the future, while Kitan is actually... S oh, no, he's fast-forwarding as well. So, Kitan's fast-forwarding as well. Both of them going for economic starts, presumably. Yep, there we are. So, Sickles going for... Actually, no. Sickles is going for 2 LC and 2 rushers. Kitan is going for... Also, two, or 3 LC... No, 2 LC... You know what? I think he actually might be going for heavy economy. Yes, he is! So, Kitan is going actually for 5 LC off of his Octos. And then he's going to be building some rushes. So, Sickles is going to get an earlier rush this time around. Both at their same time. Yes, Sickles is going for an earlier rush this time around. While Kitan is going for, like I said, a slightly faster economy. But it will be working out decently well for him if he's able to hold off the Octos coming in. If he gets a couple Octos very quickly, like three Octos, and defend with them, he should be able to hold off Sickles' attack and be able to keep his expansions. But Sickles still has a slight advantage in that he's attacking right now. I don't know if he's going to send another Octo. It looks like this Octo is being used for Progen. Yes, it is. He's sending two more Octos to QP expansion, or to QP boxes, while the Octos, for, another Octo coming in for... Kitan, okay, I think Kitan is overextending himself a bit here. He doesn't have any Octos to defend, and the Octos from Sickles are coming in. Yes, Kitan may be overextending himself. His Octos are building up, but of course, Sickles can always just jump back and send that attack a bit earlier. However, the Arcticus is doing a good job blocking off the incoming attack. It's hard to tell exactly how this is going to work out, though, because... Sorry. Let me reverse the names. Sickles is overextending himself. Kitan is attacking very early. Kitan's blue, Sickles is red. Sorry. So, going back... Kitan is the one attacking very quickly. Sickles is the one who I believe is overextending himself, building up, without building up his main base. And this isn't surprising. Sickles has been very economical in his games, very focused on making sure the economy works, not so focused on quick rushes. However, Sickles does have four Octos coming in, and of course the Octos of Kitan are attacking the Arcticus right now. And, right, oh, for goodness sakes, but why is this? Okay, there we go. Right, so Kitan appears to be changing around his orders a little bit. He's actually sending... Seems to be sending his units probably to just... Yeah, attack past the Arcticus. So this time he's getting his his Octos... No, they're still attack moving. He hasn't attacked past them yet. I'm thinking this red time wave will probably carry the attack past order. Yes, he is. So now Kitan has changed around his orders to not only attack actually past the Arcticus, but also be able to intercept the incoming Octos to the expansion. I think he might be... He might be aware that there's an expan... No, he's not. He does not know where there's an expansion, but he does know that there is a weak spot on this side... On the south side of Sickles' base... So the Octos will be coming in and dealing a fair amount of damage if Sickles doesn't defend effectively. And it looks like Sickles has his two Octos coming in, but that's just even enough now. Kitan, at the same time, is building up. He's building up a Spire. He has two Octos coming in for more QP, so Kitan has... Actually, both players are fairly safe for resources, but Kitan does have more QP coming in now. He will have a safe amount of resources for Far Pods. The Octos have, however, been fended off, so Kitan will not be doing very well with the Octo Rush right now. Sickles is going for what looks like a Counter Rush. And it's hard to tell, though. He's very expansion-happy right now. He's going for a counter-rush, seeing there's an expansion that Kitan got as well, which he didn't. Sickles, however, does have the expansion, so Sickles has a slightly safer LC base. So he can actually get... If he gets very quick Reef, very quick Advanced Structures, very quick Spire, he might be able to get Seppi Paws in time. However, Kitan jumping back about... Oh, that's right where he left off. Kitan has jumped back a bit, and it looks like he is changing around the way his Octos are microed. Yes, he changed around the Octo Micromanagement, but 
But I'll have to wait until the time it comes up to actually see what he did. He did jump away. Really was visible when it came in. And on the other hand, the reef for sickles, back when we were about, well, actually, right next to the present, really. Reef for sickles coming up. The reef for, wow, reef for cotton is actually upgrading weaponry right now. And sickles is upgrading advanced structures. However, it doesn't look like Chitin at this point in time has actually gotten Pharopods yet. He has... He doesn't have the money for any yet, which is why, obviously. However, since Advanced Structures is being upgraded for Sickles, and Sickles can get his fire pretty quickly, he could get... He has a fair amount of resources, he could get a lot of Sepi Paws and a couple of Pharopods as well. So both players could go for fairly safe anti-air and air pace builds. It looks like a Sepi is coming up for Chitin. Chitin has finished up weaponry, and he's going to have... So Chitin has weaponry not quite finished yet... Interesting. I thought I saw it finished, but anyway. I suppose it was mistaken. So, Kaiden actually is jumping back in time to re-micro this attack. The attack actually is hitting the Octos that are attacking the Arp, going to build some QPRPs. So, the Octos building QPRPs are dead. Two Octos are coming in right now. The Octos, four Sickles. This is really far back in the past. The Octos, four Sickles coming in. Both players really low on CE. Really low on CE. But, Sickles is going to be able to take this out. However, he didn't have... He will have to rebuild one of the QPRPs. There it goes. Okay, so he does have his QPRPs rebuilt, but it may not be enough resources. However, he's not in a position to be undermined very easily right now. He didn't build a lot of stuff with what he had, so he probably won't be undermined. He's just double-checking to make sure that he hasn't done anything screwed up. Looks like he's used up all of his chrono energy, though. He has no CE left. Building up what he can, where he can for the QP, but he doesn't have a lot of CE left. He does know that he's pretty safe, though. There's no more rushes coming yet from Chitin. So, he is in a decent enough position, but he is going to have to make sure that he does not relinquish his position too quickly. Chitin does have advanced structures. He should be getting a star very quickly anyway. He does, he's actually mainly using it for domes right now. So, Farbots coming in around the back here would be very effective, but Farbots coming in around the front would be fairly useless. Two Sepipods coming in from the future for Sickles. Sickles has actually been researching Chrono Porting in the future. And, wow, really in the far future. Yeah, actually, where did Cycles get Chrono Porting? Oh, it must be on the red time wave now. Because, or must be events that will be propagated by the red time wave. Or actually, you know what? I think we're in paradox territory right now. Hard to say though, because the advanced, the reef is here, and it's just that the. Yeah, because there is. This time wave does not have a reef. This time wave does not have technology for Sickles, but Sickles would have chronoported back a far a sepipod from that point in time. So, Sickles, sepi, these sepipods right here are pretty unstable right now. He is getting chronoporting though, so once this comes through, I don't think the blue time... I'm just going to double check. The blue time wave looks like it's pretty stable as well. It should have a reef coming in the same time. Yeah, here's the sepi that builds the reef. So once the blue, once the red time wave comes in, this is going to be stable. The sepi pods will be stable, but there might be one iteration where the sepi pods do not exist after this blue time wave. So right now, Sickles is upgrading. He has advanced structures. He's upgrading chronoporting. Chronoporting is now finished, so Sickles will have what he needs. At the same time... Weapons has been upgraded, so domes will be very powerful against ground units, not that it's super necessary. Also, plasma cruise missiles and chrono bombs will be available. Well, plasma cruise missiles at least will be available for Chitin. Chitin back near the present is actually... Let's see, he is fending off the Sepipods coming in. So the Sepipods did come in from the future. Chitin has Pharopods as well. However, both players have jumped back a bit further to make sure that they actually are able to counter what each one's doing. Sickles has his Sepipods coming in. They are already in patrolling from the future. And they are fairly certain that they're going to be coming in. So, right now, Sickles is in a fairly stable position with his heavy pods coming in from the future. And Chitin now has to deal with these as well. He doesn't have chrono reporting. Chitin has advanced weapons, though, but they're not going to be doing much good. He'd have to nuke his own base. And, of course, nuking your own base is typically a bad idea. Just, just a pro tip there for all you new players out there. Nuking one's own base is bad. Except when it's good. But it's very rarely good. So... Sickles is in a fairly safe position right now. However, Chitin is further back in the past. Sickles is also very low on CE. Chitin is double-checking what he can do in the past. And it looks like Chitin actually has sent... He has sent a plus cruise missile, so he has nuked the base of Sickles right next to the unplayable pass. So Sickles, he may have been undermined here. It looks like chronoporting has been researched, so he will not be undermined enough to stop the Sebi Pods from chronoporting. The Sebi Pods are still stable, but he did lose three LCRPs and have quite a few of his other RPs damaged very heavily, so a small raid would be able to finish them off. Chitin is jumping back again. Looks like he's just double-checking the attack, and he's sending down a couple Sepis as well, but it doesn't look like they're going to be doing much in the way of attacking. Probably just more defense against the air units, the Sepi pods coming in. And Sickles, I should probably point out, has been expanding like a virus across the entire map right now. He has expansions almost everywhere, 
and he is going to be doing a very good job if he can keep himself safe. Right now, Kitan's just turtling in his base. He's running low on resources very quickly. One of his LC boxes has been just been completely wiped out. The rest of them are at half health, so it looks like there's going to be not a lot for Kitan to do unless he can somehow undermine Sickles really well. Chronoport back, but he doesn't have Chronoporting himself. Sickles, however, has no CE left. Kitan is attempting to expand to his to his natural, but it's not going to be working very well. And it looks like Kitan is going to be at a major disadvantage right now. A cloaked firepod trying to sneak past these heavy pods. One of the heavy pod patrols is going to find us. The heavy pod patrol from Sickles has found the firepod. And the firepod will not be lasting very long. It looks like Kitan has gone back to try to fix this. Kitan appears to be undoing this, this attack right now. So the firepod will not be hit. But at the same time... Oh my goodness, did I miss something? I think I did. I think there's a spire that was destroyed. Yes, there appears to have been. Yes, a semi pod came in. And a bunch of semi pods come in from the future to completely obliterate what happened before. And yes, there is. Here's the PCM we saw before. But a bunch of semi pods will be coming in very quickly to destroy the QPRPs of Sickle. Of Chitin, sorry. Sickle's semi pods coming in to destroy the QPRPs of Chitin. And Chitin is now being very heavily undermined. He does have. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a Spire coming up right now, so his Spire is being undermined from the looks of it. And he has no Chronoporting as well, and it looks like Kitan in the future, just double-checking, and the Rebels Future does not have Chronoporting. Both players are at the very edge of their ability to actually play, because they have very little Chronergy left, and they're not going to be doing very well for themselves if they do not manage to get something going with the Chronergy. Sickles has jumped forward closer to the present, while Kitan is still playing right next to the UPP, running out of QP, or running out of CE, I should say, Fast forwarding as well to try to get as much C as he can, get as many orders as he can. And he does have a Spire back, but his blue time wave will be aborting that, so... No, actually he won't. Okay, so Sickles... Oh, wait, Kitan managed actually to get past this. People, I think we're in Paradox territory. But let me just double check. It looks like... No, it looks like that Spire is actually stable. So, the Spire is stable for Kitan. And... Actually, you know what? I probably should have pointed out. This Progen Triad is... Oh, right. That's where we're in. Sickle's Progen Triad died in that nuke attack. And so right now there's actually an unstable... It's an unstable equilibrium for... For Sickle's, but it looks like it did not actually work out to be a paradox. It just worked out to be death, because it managed to undermine the missile coming in. And right now, Firepods are trying to take out the Sepi Pods. The Sepi Pods are too numerous. Too many Sepi Pods. Sickle's is jumping back to try to see what he can do. He did move his Triad along... Or rebuild his Triad, actually. So he should have at least some chance, but he's building a lot of Firepods. Not a lot of Sepi Pods, and this is in a really bad spot for him, because without the Sepi Pods, so, it's... Oh my gosh, where is it? Why is this... Oh, for goodness sakes, why are you crashing? Please don't crash on me, this is a bad time, this is a very bad time to crash, Akron. Seriously? Uh, okay, from what I can hear, it sounds like Octos and Sepi Pods are coming in for Kite, and Kite is doing a very good job of taking care of... Sick of Sickles' base at the time we were looking. Unfortunately, I don't know if Sickles has actually changed this, but we were very close to the UPP, and Sickles had very little Chrono Energy left, so it looks like there isn't too much more to say about this. Kitan appears to be in a very advantageous position right now. Ah, here we are! Okay, so the game's back, so let's just review, because when that froze... So this is when we were when the game stopped, and yes, I was right. Octopods coming in for Sickles. Sickles trying to change his Firepods to Octopods. The Firepods are being destroyed. Sickles can't come up quickly enough, and the Pods from the future never existed. So, they won't be able to help out against the Sepipod Rush here. What he could use, I really don't know. There isn't great ground-based anti-air for Grekum, and the Octus will be taking care of that in short order. So, it, okay, I guess this is it. Kitan has... Kitan is in a very advantageous position. Sickles is jumping towards the future, trying to rebuild from the future. He does have a chance, though. If he gets the Sepipods back in time, he does have. he's using an independent triad. He might be able to actually save himself if he sends those Sepipods back. From Kitan's point of view, it looks like... He, as far as you can tell, is taking care of most of the expansions. However, Sickles does have a bunch of Firepaws right next to Kitan's base. He also has a bunch of expansions across the entire map, so Sickles is not in an unhealthy position. He just has only one triad right now available on the map, and that was a mistake. He has one triad available on the map, and that triad will be doing a lot, but it looks like if that triad is spotted too soon, then Kitan will be able to take it out very quickly. However, if that triad can Chronoport units back successfully, Kitan's forces will be completely destroyed, and of course, Kitan actually... Or Kitan actually has to worry about these far pods right here in the future. Actually, has to worry about them right now in the future, because right now, about a minute up from where we were looking, Kitan's being attacked. Kitan's base is being attacked. However, unfortunately for Sickles, Kitan was not chronoporting, so this won't undermine anything. I guess Kitan, or Sickles is just testing to see what Kitan has in his base. 
Now, a minute down from that, or two minutes down from that, looks like the, the Sepipods are being built, but unfortunately for Sickles, he ran somewhat out of QP, or LC. Or no, he didn't. Okay, this is stable. Sepipods here are stable, and they've been chronoported back. So, the Sepipods have been chronoported back, and so the Sepipods are coming in, going to be dealing a lot of damage. Blue Time Wave actually has carried them along, and yes, the Sepipods were able to completely destroy the Sepipods of... Kitan, so Kitan's attack has been undone in the unplayable past. Very well done by Sickles. It looks like Sickles actually chronoported a second set of Sepipods, or the Sepipods back twice. But that won't be a particularly useful move right now, because what he really needs is to have stable Sepipods in the past, so that Kitan will not be able to attack him too heavily. And yes, here are the Sepipods right now, so just reviewing what went on. Sepipods coming in, and more Sepipods coming in from the future, so Sickles is trying to send as many Sepipods back as he can to take care of the Sepipods of Kitan, and he will do that successfully. Very well done by Sickles, or actually, will he? It looks like he was. He did last time, but of course, the time waves may have changed that. It doesn't look like Sickles has actually sent anything back to help out. And yes, the Sepipods are coming in. Sepipods are managing to focus fire down Kitan's Sepipods, so Sickles will be able to be successful in this attack. Back when Sickles is about three minutes up, or, well, he was about three minutes up from here. He has a pretty stable base on the blue time wave. He has what looks like it'll probably be a stable base on the green time wave, if this is any indication right now. So, yes, he has a stable base on the green time wave, but unfortunately for him, Kitan is attacking the expansion to the north, but Kitan's attack will not be that fruitful. However, this may cause a slight negative feedback loop on that attack, meaning that the attack after a couple time waves might not be powerful enough to block off Kitan's assault. However... That being said, it probably will still be powerful enough. There was at least a two Sepipod advantage for Sickle, so one Sepipod being slightly damaged shouldn't destroy the entire attack. So right now, both players... Well, actually, this is a bit further in the future. Both players are actually right next to the UPP, trying to make sure that they're not going to be attacked any further. And it doesn't look like... Just double-checking. Kitan, throughout the future, does not have Chrono Porting yet at any point in the timeline. So Kitan can't actually go back and fix this mistake. He's mainly focused on actually trying to get his expansion forward. And it looks like Kitan's turtle strategy is not paying off right now. He's running out of resources. He's he's very look, 15102 to 131 and 13. Sigils has enough QP to fund his entire military operation on his own, let alone with the LC. So right now, Sigils is in a very safe position. Being able to take care of these RPs coming in from Kitan, and Kitan does not have a lot of resources to rebuild his armies. What he really needs right now is a way of getting rid of these Sepipods, which he's trying to do with the Sepi right here, and get his RPs in here, try to get some resources, but I really don't know how many resources he can get before Sickles can actually take him out. Sickles has five orders left. He doesn't have a lot, of course, and he's using all of them that he can. He's actually out of QP, he's out of CE right now, so he has a lot of resources, not a lot of CE, not enough CE to really change QP to LC, which is really the only thing working in Kitan's favor. However, Sickles, of course, can do that in the future, corner port units back, and then it works out. So either way, Sickles is in a very advantageous position. The Seppies will be able to take care of the Seppie pod, and will start taking care of the RPs from Sickles, but Kitan, Kitan will probably not be able to hold this position very long. The question is, can he hold it long enough? Can he hold it long enough to get a couple Seppie pods, get what he needs to hold off the Seppie pods from Sickles that are coming in right now, or will it not be enough? Will they be able to take it out? It looks like, actually, yes, on the red time wave, Sickles managed to micro around his Seppie pods, and the Seppies will not be dealing enough damage to fend it off. So from the looks of it, Kitan does not seem to be in a very good position right now. The Seppipods, our Seppies are not taking care of the Seppipods. The Seppipods are taking care of the RPs, and this is very close to the UPP. And Sickles, of course, is even closer to the UPP. Just to double check, make sure everything's working out. And it is working out for him, definitely. Sickles is in a very good position. So Sickles, right now has most of the map under his control, he has most of the game under his control, because Kitan has very little resources left, he has no income, like, look at this, no RPs, no income, Kitan is trying to live on 48 LC and 162 QP, and that's not going to be enough, he has weapons, he has advanced structures, he does not have chrono porting, so he can't even think of chrono porting units back, and it looks like Sickles may actually have done that as well, Kitan is trying to do what he can with more Sebis in the past, but like I said before, oh actually, you know what? I think Kitan actually managed to undermine something. He did actually manage to get a UPP attack on the expansion down here. So while he, while there is still a lot of resources for Sickles, and Sickles can still be safe and get around this, he is in a pretty bad spot right now, actually. It looks like Sickles is going to be in a really tight spot. He needs some... Hopefully he has another independent triad, but I don't know for sure. He does have an Octo down here, but he needs to get a Sepi or a Faro somewhere around the map. This actually is turning around quite a bit. A Sepi bot, however, is coming in, dealing a fair amount of damage to one of the RPs, and it looks like Sickles has... Wow! Whoa, what a comeback! So Sickles actually lost that after doing quite well. So, wow. I did not expect that at all. So, I hope you enjoyed that game. It was very 
interesting. I honestly expected Kitan to lose, but very well done comeback. UPP attack by Kitan, and that's the game. That's the tournament, actually. Congratulations, Kitan, on winning the tournament.